Why is it so important to get up early? Some of y'all don't want it. That's why you ain't got it. I don't sleep when I'm tired. I sleep when I'm done. The average millionaire wakes up at 4 a.m. So it started off 4 o'clock in the morning where I'd start, I'd start with my cardio, then I'd have breakfast, and then I would go to the gym, and then I could work. Some of y'all have no idea what 4 a.m. looked like. Why would you not wake up at 4.30? Because you're too busy sleeping in. I'm pretty sure I wake up earlier than all of you. We don't sleep when we're tired. We sleep when we are <laughs> too busy hitting the snooze button multiple times. Excuses sound best when the person is making them up. And if we can really be honest, some of y'all don't even go to bed until about 4 a.m. If you can get up before the rest of the world is awake, right? Before the enemy is awake, you can get so much done. You're so much more productive. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Wake your ass up. And then they ask me, well, why are you up so early? <laughs> Take responsibility to make your life happen. Awaken the beast inside. Wake up at 4 a.m. So I begin to tell myself there must be a reason. When you have something to do, when you have someone to love, when you have something to look forward to, when you get up in the morning, see people who have something to look forward to don't need an alarm clock because they have a reason for being. You, if you want to have one of the best lives in the world, which is you live on your terms, then you have to pay your dues to get there. You've decided that you're not going to allow your circumstances to define you. You've decided that you're not going to allow the events, things, people, life, determine who you become. You got a problem with your life. You got a problem with your environment. Do something about it. If you want more freedom in your life, you have to have more discipline. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. You decided that you're not going to go through life being a whiner, being a complainer. That you're going to take responsibility for what it is that you want to create. The greatest ability that God has given humankind above the animals is the ability to choose. I'm not going to sit here and tell you life is going to be Ron Howard happy days every day. It's not going to be that way. Matter of fact, it's probably going to be the opposite. You see, the enemy is going to throw everything he has in his toolbox at you. Now, he can't stop you himself, but his objective is to get you to stop you. This message is for the struggle, for all those going through trials and tribulations. People in this world are going to fool you, disappoint you, Turn their back on you. The closest around you are going to give up on you. And when things hit the fan, everybody's going to run. You're going to look around and you're going to be all alone. I'm just keeping it real with you because somebody out there needs to hear what I'm saying. This ain't a motivational video. Man, this is life. This ain't no game to me and I know what you're going through. And I'm going to speak life into you right now. Nothing, listen to me, nothing can stop you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. And that is all you need. There's a power inside of you that you can only discover when you are truly alone. Just as the waves on a beach shore come in and out people will do the same relationships are like music and you should never make music with anybody who doesn't understand appreciate 
and value your lyrics. Sometimes you just gotta let these people go. You gotta know your worth. Sometimes you just gotta let them people go. You gotta stop chasing people who don't appreciate you. Sometimes in this life, champion, you gotta remind the world just who you are. And you don't do this by telling them with your mouth. You tell them with your actions. You make your actions speak loud and proud to who you are. Don't let the world convince you that you're nobody. You're somebody who just don't know it yet. Do you hear what I'm saying, champion? I'm speaking to the champion in you. Rise, champion.